Welcome, everyone. We begin the day with a nation gripped by fear and worry. Fear of what tomorrow holds, worried about what is missing today. A new poll shows that 75% of Germans expect more terror attacks to follow what has been an unprecedented week of violence and murder. The poll also shows most Germans blame the influx of refugees and the open-door policy of Chancellor Angela Merkel. Well, speaking of the Chancellor, she hasn't spoken much at all lately. In fact, her public silence since Sunday's suicide bombing in Bavaria, the first ever on German soil, has the country talking. From all sides, loud protests and criticism of the Chancellor's ability to protect the people. There are even calls for her to resign. Merkel is expected to break her silence on Thursday. What will she say? Our coverage begins tonight with new disturbing clues about that suicide bombing. Tensions remain high at the crime scene in Ansbach. It's emerged that the killer may have received instructions from someone behind the scenes just before the attack. Every new bit of information increases the pressure on Chancellor Angela Merkel. She was last seen in public on Saturday. She expressed her shock over the earlier attacks, but will only speak about the Ansbach bombing on Thursday. Many say that's too late. You expect a relatively prompt statement from a head of state, like Hollande in France, and of course it's shocking when President Obama comments while Merkel is silent. What can we expect from the Chancellor? The Bavarian state premier and interior minister are the ones who are doing something. Of course, there's not much she can do, but it would make her closer to the people, which might give people a sense of security. I find it good when they leave the drama out of politics and remain calm. German Foreign Minister Frank-Walter Steinmeier thinks so too. We have to remain calm. We know that the murders and killings in the past week all had different motives. In one of the cases, it's assumed that it was motivated by Islamist terrorism. But in the case of the Munich rampage, that was definitely not the case. We have to consider everything and assess how we'll react to cases like these in the future. But Chancellor Merkel's silence since Saturday has unsettled the public. Her press conference on Thursday is anxiously awaited. Well, our political correspondent, Naomi Conrad, joins me tonight at the big table. Naomi, why has the German chancellor basically said nothing since the suicide bombing on Sunday? Well, that's the big question that everyone's asking at the moment, right? I think it's down to her approach of wanting to wait and see. I think she wants to project calm, she wants to avoid mass hysteria, which we would have had possibly if she'd rushed to the site, if she'd rushed to give a press conference. I think it's part of her political style. I think she wants to calm down the situation. She's seen a lot of media, a lot of politicians jumping on the bandwagon. So this, I think, is really the attempt to show that she's in control, that there's nothing to be worried about. And that life goes on. But that's not the effect that that we're we're seeing, right? I mean, the, I mean, the world sees the the French president Francois Hollande, for example. He cancels his trips and he goes to where these terror attacks have happened. I mean, he he did that yesterday when he went up to Normandy, where the priest was murdered. And a lot of observers have said, you know, why don't we see Angela Merkel doing that? She doesn't have to hold a press conference to talk about the facts of the investigation. But the presence of the leader where a terror attack occurred, um, it's, you know, it's more than just sy symbolism we're talking about. Sure. Sure, but you also have to remember she's not very good at all this emotional stuff. I mean, we've had a couple of moments where she came across as very awkward and yeah. very difficult in these kind of situations. So I think she's obviously very aware of this and, you know, it's, it's a very fine line to walk. And she's giving a press conference tomorrow, her annual press conference, which, you know, has been pulled forward a little bit. So, so it, has been, it has been rescheduled? It has, it okay. has, yeah. Let's let's go back one year ago. I want us to um, look at the time when Angela Merkel encouraged the country uh, to welcome these refugees that we're talking about. Let's take a listen. Simply put, Germany is a strong country. 
And the motto with which we take on these tasks must be, we've already achieved so much, we can handle this, we can do it. And when something stands in our way, we have to work on it and overcome it. And then we, do you think she would dare to say that in public now? I think she'll stick to the line of we're working on it. It's difficult. We're doing our best. I'm not entirely sure if she'd use exactly the same phrase at the moment. I'm pretty sure she's not going to use the same words. It's but very I mean, powerful. It's yeah. powerful, but she can also point to a lot of work she has done. You know, she's she's thrashed through the EU Turkey deal. Um, she's tightened a lot of asylum laws here. You know, we have faster deportations of asylum, of rejected asylum seekers now, and very tough, very harsh laws, you know, a whole list of safe countries of origin, which are actually very controversial. A lot of human rights organisations are very critical of some of these laws. Mm. So she has done a lot, but I don't think she'll, she'll use the same sentence again. She, she may have done a lot, but... The latest poll shows that 75% of Germans now expect more terror attacks to come. And they blame the chancellor for letting in the refugees. And you, you can't deny the fact that three of the four attacks that, that um, took place last week were committed by refugees. I mean, it is amazing in a way that her approval ratings have not plummeted more. H how do you explain that? I mean, uh, if... Germans think that she is not protecting them. Why aren't they, you know, running away from her? Well, that remains to be seen, right? We've got three important federal elections coming up in September, and it's very possible that the anti-migrant, anti-Islam party, the alternative for Germany, might do very well. And, in fact, we've seen very strong rhetoric coming out of, out of their press releases, coming out of interviews they've given. So we don't know yet. Things might change. It's all very early days. We have to wait for the newest polls to come out. I've got the feeling that we're at a tipping point, that, yes, the political climate might change and we might see a huge boost for the alternative for Germany and, and other parties. But the very early days at the moment, yeah. we have to see what happens. There, there are some observers who say that um, the German public is sticking with Angela Merkel because they don't have an alternative. There is no one beyond Angela Merkel. And we have to remember that she's been hugely popular. I mean, she's been one of the most favourite chancellors ever, and people trust her. I mean, she's, you know, kind of a very... the mother figure, Mutti Merkel, Mutti you know. Merkel, she's, yeah. She is still <clears throat> popular, and there aren't really very many charismatic figures in the political scene at the moment. That's, that's true. Her, you know, her critics also say that she has this stubborn streak and will never admit the mistake of letting too many refugees come in too soon. What's your read on that? Well, she presumably will say it wasn't a mistake. She'll point to the fact that the refugees who committed these attacks actually came to Germany before last summer, that, you know, they arrived here two, maybe even three years ago. I don't think she'll ever admit that it was a mistake because then she'd be admitting a political defeat, wouldn't she? Some could read it that way, indeed. All right, Naomi Conrad, as always, thank you very much. We appreciate it. You know, it just takes a quick look at Facebook or Twitter to see people blaming Merkel's refugee policy for the recent violence. Take a look at these tweets. Here's one German resident tweeting, Merkel and all of those clapping welcome at refugees are responsible for the many bloody deeds in recent days. Many are making calls on social media for her to resign her office. Merkel has lost a lot of popularity. She has passed her peak and is not in control of the situation. Step down, you're not up to the task. Another complains, our government wants to keep letting at least 200,000 people just enter the country every year. Absolute insanity and playing into the, F the AFD's hands. But others are calling for restraint. You can make Merkel responsible for pretty much anything, but not for every maniac who goes on a rampage here. 